Hello, welcome back to Chew Talk, but no Chew Talk last week. No, Daggy, welcome back. Then there wasn't. Why Why wasn't there a Chew Talk last week? Do you know why? Wow, Dad had an operation on his ear. And look, it's kind of gory. You can still see the blood and stuff. They had to, um, they had, they just, they, they drilled into my ear basically just to um, get rid of some excess bone. So all very minor. Mm, but, but I haven't now washed my hair for a week. Gross, eh? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so. So about, anyway, apologies for that. It's fine. About the racing, the coronavirus is on everyone's minds. It is on everyone's minds, Doug. And I, I just want to send a message to everyone of, don't panic. It's, um... It's, it's, a, it's a moment in time we have to follow all of the rules, but it will pass, um, you know, and there's some there's good stories out there, and in a couple of months' time we might be back to a completely normal situation, you know. You look in China, they've basically got no new cases, they're sort of saying that they're through it, there's people all over the world saying that they've found vaccines, and it is something which is serious, but, you know, the 98% of people get through it, recover, um, and the people that are being severely affected by it are unfortunately, you know, the elderly people that they have got other things going on. But it's something that, you know, we will overcome. I was looking at the stock market today and, you know, and it's, it's down a lot, there's a lot of volatility, but it's exactly the same point it was 12 months ago. And 12 months ago, we were all saying it was, it was in good position. So I think the big thing is, you know, is follow all the rules, but try and carry on in your business life and everything else as normal. And um, and we'll get through it. Remember the GFC in two thousand eight, Doug. And you probably don't. You, you weren't even born then, or you were born, but only just. And um, you know now people can hardly remember it. We it's a moment in time. We'll get through it. And uh, let's stay positive and don't panic. Okay, but continuing on with the topic of coronavirus, how will this affect racing? Good question, Doug. And I think racing's actually in a unique position and really well set up to get past it, to get through it. Because there's so many live sports now which are, are gone. You know, rugby, cricket, uh, NBL, everything, it's, it's gone. But racing carries on. We, we can have jockeys, uh, we've got a large pool of jockeys. You might have 12 horses per race, you might have a pool of 30 jockeys. If one jockey can't ride your horse, another one can. And, and racing's carrying on. I think a lot of people who are sitting at home not doing much are going to go, what can I watch? Live sport, they'll watch racing. And they'll have a bet. Today I had a look on the TAB and the options were you have a bet on the new Plymouth races or you could bet on the table tennis open in Ukraine. And I think people would rather bet on the new Plymouth races. So I think we actually, we might find that turnover goes up in racing. Um, you know, we're still racing for great prize money in Australia, you know, and, and good prize money here. and. And I think just enjoy your horses. I think we're actually very, very well set to um, uh, uh, to come out of it a lot better than a lot of the other sports do. So there you go. Yes. So since we missed Tube Talk last week, we've got a little bit to get through. We have. So, so we should nail it. So we'll start with Nick last week. And Dad just wants to talk about good stocks. Yeah, so good stock is a horse that absolutely bolted in last week in Sydney, last Wednesday. He looks a very, very, very good horse on the rise. And he's a full brother to a horse that we bought at the sales, Tavistock Big Voices filly. And she's got a phenomenal pedigree, good stocks, the very first fold out of the mid race. Uh, only had three starts, bolted, should have won second up, bolted in on uh, third up. Um, and we bought her so well. And there's only one she left in, in her. Um, and her value is going, is going to be high because of her pedigree, but it's only going to go up by his performances. And she just represents an amazing opportunity. So have a look at her. Um, there might even be a little video of her here, but have a look at her and get in touch with me and grab the last chair. Um, it, it is really a superb opportunity which doesn't come along very often. So that was good stock and that's our filling. Yes. So last week was a week of placings. Oh, yeah. But the one that was actually third um, was Mimburos. 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 So this is the first of our horses to race that we bought from the UK last year. Uh, he came down, set super run, 1400 metres, well too short, 
James McDonald on the saddle, he sat really wide, pulled a bit hard, but still finished off really strongly for third. Looks very, very promising. Uh, the, the owners and him are going to make a lot of money and have a hell of a lot of fun with him um, over the next little while. Probably going to keep him to 1,400 metres, 1,500 metres next up, even though he's going to be best at further, just while he settles into Australian racing. But, in, but very promising, very exciting. Yes, and for those who are interested here, I'm third in Sydney. That's what I just said, Douglas. Oh, Thank sorry. you. And um, also, we got second is Running Man who ran third at Ashburton. Second at Ashburton second. last Wednesday. So, uh, a good return to form for him. Uh, well ridden, up on the speed, fought well, and he'll get a bit of confidence from that. He's certainly got the ability to go on. He is entered to race next week, but he's on Monday, but he's got the outside barrier draw, so it will be scratched. But yeah, great to see him bounce back. Yes, and we have Major Issue who ran second, also at Ashburton. Yeah, and look, um, Cosie did a fantastic job to get her on the 1-1 one, one early and sat beautifully in the 1-1, one, one, but she was going that well. He actually just went too, too early he, and he pulled out and went three wide from about the six, 600 metres, 700 metres, and she got run down to run second. I just think if he'd sat a bit longer and waited that she would have won. But good to see her also back in form, and I think she can be very hard to beat next up. Yes, now moving on to this week. So this week, well, um, just on Wednesday at Rotorua, uh, she speeds... Brand second. Yes. Yeah, uh, fresh up. I think she's a very smart staying uh, filly. Um, she was just beaten by a forty hot pot. She would had no trials going in. She's a 2,000 metre plus horse and to be beaten narrowly over 1,200 is a very good sign. Lovely long striding filly. Uh, she's going a long way. Mark her down and follow her, no matter, no matter where she goes. And Ferry Me Home ran third. Yeah, very unlucky. He's got an amazing form line, two, three, two, three, one, three. Uh, he got sort of three back the fence, got held up, shuffled back to last, hooked out, stormed home, was beaten like a head in the nose. So very unlucky, but he's going well, and uh, he can win his next start in Brisbane. That was a $35,000 race, and he running a 50 or a 35000 next. But he's going really, really well. So now, runners coming up. Uh, Friday at Avondale was She's Apples in race four. So She's Apples was fifth fresh up, came from last, ran on really well. She's got an awkward barrier draw again, the blinkers go on. We might scratch and wait for Matter Matter next week. I just think from her barrier draw she might get back and, and she might run home really well again. But I'd like her to draw well, be able to sit a bit closer and be a, be a winning chance. So we might scratch from Avondale and go to Matter Matter I think the following week. Yes, and on Saturday at Tarama Race 5 we've got Starry Bell. Yes, a Starry Bell, a bit of an enigma, very talented horse. He ran 5th last start, $50,000 race at Ellerslie. Uh, the Nathan's Memorial and he ran well off a slow speed. Um, he is training well and he's, I think he's quite a confidence horse. We're go he's better left handed, we're going right handed again but the blinkers are on and he has run well at Tauranga. He's got a nice barrier drawer, uh, we've got Leith and us on board. I think he should get a nice run in transit and he's a good each way chance. And a couple of horses are Rickerton this week and they race through is Sanctify. Sanctify had a little fresh freshen up after running fourth in the listed South in Guinea's last start. Um, she's a, a filly that's getting better all the time. Barrier one, Kozi Asano on. She should get a nice run in transit, and while she'll be better for the run over more ground, she's a winning chance. And Severine uh, also ran the same race nine. Uh, she'll jump from probably a midfield to barrier seven or eight out of 14 draw. Um, she's had a little bit of a freshen up. Um, she should, Sam Wynn knows her well. Uh, she tends to ride her well too, and I think we're just going to get her a nice spot with cover, and she should finish off off good too. And fresh up, I think she's a nice each way chance on a track that should suit her. And um, on Sunday at Masterton, we have Bella Sorella race seven. And we'll just decide whether we, whether we run her here or we wait for Waipuka around. We've got a couple of options. She's got a slightly awkward barrier draw. Her fresh up run she needed was too short for her. She steps up to 1,400 metres, which is good. She does want a bit of easing the track, which she's not going to get. I'm leaning towards running her uh, at, at, at Masterton. And if we do, Robbie will just have to, I think, just slot her in, get cover, get her relaxed, and then we will see her finish off the race quite nicely. And she'll improve with more racing under her belt as she goes up, and as she goes over further. And now it's time for a bit of the week. And this bit of the week at Tarang Race 3 is Vida 
Virtuoso. Virtuoso lad. Good attempt, Doug. Yeah, eight dollars fifty fixed odds. Two think to add your place. One at Ellerslie, then ran a really good third at Ellerslie over the carnival. Uh, ran seventh. Uh, next up, and was just I just don't think the race was run to suit. Um, got back in the and, and and just got back into an awkward position. Got barrier one this time, and I think it's a pretty talented horse. Should be able to sit up reasonably handy at Tarai, and I think it's well over the odds at eight fifty. Uh, and 280, so I think a really nice each way bet. So have a few dollars on your choice over there. Yep, and that concludes our tube talk for today. And we will see you next week. We will be back. Bye. Bates looking for a run, I wonder why. Danny Green, wider out, Rosso Cavallo, going through, Spates in the middle, with I wonder why. Spates hit the lead from I wonder why. Artahua loved the dream. Out deeper now, Sanctify. Sanctify's from last, is zooming past them, and Sanctify's a big winner. Sanctify.